Vanessa, how are you? Welcome to Mix You, and thank you for ordering your fresh grapefruit daiquiri kit. I know you love going to Wild Ginger. We all do. However, I promise you're going to make a better grapefruit daiquiri than they have by far. We're not going to use Captain Morgan grapefruit rum. We're actually going to make our own flavored rum. So I think you're going to love it. So, you ready to learn? Here we go. All right, we're going to take your martini glass that comes with your kit. We're going to fill that up all the way full of ice. We're going to set that aside, okay? We want to let our martini glass chill as we start to build this drink. So we're going to start off with two ounces of rum. You'll see this small little measuring cup that I got for you. It actually has all the little graduations, all the units of measure on the side, so it's going to make it very easy. What's even easier for you is just to build all the ingredients, as I kind of tell them to you in this video, right in this measuring cup and then pour them in your mixing tin. It's going to make your life a lot easier. So we're going to go two ounces of our white rum. Here I'm actually using a little bit of uh, Bacardi, but wanted to keep yours a little closer to the true recipe, so we went with the Captain Morgan white rum. So we're going to pour that in. Then we're going to do a half ounce of agave nectar. You're going to have a small mason jar with that in there. So we're going to hit that up to the two and a half ounce line. Then we're going to pour in an ounce and a half of grapefruit juice. So that would take our two and a half ounces up to four total ounces. So real quick, we're just going to pour that in to the four ounce mark. Nice and easy. That's the majority of the ingredients for your cocktail. So we'll take your mixing tin, pour all these ingredients in there. Nice and simple. Then what you can do is go ahead and put your lime juice in there just to make it easy. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit a quick ounce of our lime juice. And again, you'll have a small mason jar with some fresh limeade in there that I made for you from scratch today. Then I'm gonna take the ice directly from my, from my martini glass. I'm gonna put that directly into my shaker tin. So kind of double purpose, chill the glass, also chill your drink. Now, when you take your mixing tin, you have a little bit different of a design than I do, but make sure your top is nice and secure. Otherwise, you're gonna get wet. The big key is the shake. So you're gonna shake for about 15 seconds. Now, I could just tell you to shake it and that'd be enough, but I'm gonna make you a pro. Put one hand on the bottom, the other hand on the top, supporting it by the sides. Your goal is to go up, back, down, back. Up, back, down, back. I'm gonna start to show you slow, okay? Up, back, down, back. Up, back, down back. The more times you hit this side, the front and the back, the colder your drink's going to go. So let me show you full speed. And that's it. Pretty simple. So 15 seconds, you're going to shake that. Nice and simple. Then again, your martini, you're just going to take the cap off of your shaker. We're going to strain this right inside our nice chilled martini glass. Don't be afraid of your pour because I promise you I designed this to be exact. Then we're going to take a beautiful lemon wedge, put that right on the side, and you have your fresh grapefruit daiquiri. Enjoy!